Welcome to Talking Blue View, your source for all things Everton. I'm Jerry, and over in this direction we have uh, Max and Edward. All right? Yeah. Uh, so, guys, um, this was newsworthy earlier in the week, or a day or two ago, so let's discuss it, all right? Because I think it actually, there's actually more ramifications of this than we, uh, than we, than we realize. Um, but uh, most recently, Big Sam decided that uh, Everton's Christmas party is going to be delayed. All right. He said he'll make it up to them, whatever. But he thinks they need to focus on the busy holiday fixture list. We were worried that Kuman's relationship with the players, his man management, uh, it was strained, right? And then we worried that was kind of something that was maybe not helping things. Um, is I. I don't. I, I know how I feel about this. Is there a chance of the players resenting something like this as digging into their, digging into what who they are or whatever? Because no. I've heard somebody mention this, and I don't think that's the no, case. No, I don't think so. I think what what's been so great about Sam since you, oh, Jesus, am I am I paying him compliments? I'm listening to him. You're all right. Got to listen to myself here, right? What, what, I almost what? I almost squirted water out of my nose. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> What's been so great about Sam when he's come in is that whenever he's been put in front of a camera or whenever there's been a decision to be made, there's logic behind it and everything he says is honest and you can yeah. speak, you know, yep. you can, it makes sense. And, and can, cancelling this Christmas party makes sense as we have had a nightmare start to the season. Yes. Um, we pretty much be, been put in a position where you'd never really imagine an Everton side should end up. Especially uh, with spending 150 million on in the previous window. Exactly. Exactly. So I can, I can. I mean, to play devil devil's advocate a bit. I mean, I think, uh, particularly about English football, I think the Christmas, the Christmas period, is something that puts all, puts players off coming to England. Maybe you know, because obviously in other countries you have your winter break, right? And obviously here it's a grueling schedule. I mean, it's really intense, mm. but. You know, you've, got, you've just got to look at it. Like, you know, they haven't really deserved it. The, the performances that he put it, put in earlier in the season lacked real any kind of, you know, any kind of effort or, you know, enthusiasm. So, I think, uh, it, it's, it's, you know, it's reasonable. I got two thoughts on this. Um, I think if we were losing and spirits were down. One could argue that we need it worse, but I also think players' attitudes would be crappier going into it, okay? Um, when you're thinking, you know, I already feel bad because our results are bad, and now you're going to take away a little bit of merriment, you know? Um, but, uh, but, but however, since we're winning, I think attitudes should be high, mm -hmm. right? Um, additionally, and so I thought about this, all right. Big Sam keeps saying, holiday fixture list, I want to rotate. I want to rotate. I want to rotate. I want to rotate. All right. He hasn't done really much of any of that yet. All right. Because he's trying to stabilize. Maybe it's because he hasn't had enough time with everybody to train everybody up. So the thinking is extra training sessions allows him to be able to trust some of these players who he, he refuses to put in games right now. You know, mm. so thinking about Michael Keane, I still, I still think that is a solid player. Okay, yeah. and, and and if I'm if I'm gonna be honest, I think that if Keane had been starting these past few games instead of Holgate, he would have done well as well. I think I, honestly, I think Big Sam has done a great job with the defense. That's taking nothing away from Holgate. It means that Holgate is ready for the Premier League. That's all that says. All right, so. Uh, so yeah, players players like Clausen, it'd be great to be able to throw him in, even may even though he might not be quite ready. I think Big Sam needs to be able to trust these guys. And I think mm. this is where he's building that trust. You know, where he knows you know where you're supposed to go when you get in the game. Mm. So yeah, that's that's my rant. You know, yeah, I think I, the whole I, thing I <laughs> the whole thing I see with it is he's not actually cancelled it. He's just said we'll put it on at a later date because we just need to focus. Yeah. yeah, and I feel like a party as well. I mean, obviously, you get the drunk antics and all that, and I know it won't be as bad. But I think he read. I think he said somewhere in a press conference as well, or something like that in an interview, 
uh, players have to be really careful nowadays, especially with social media. You know, if they do certain that. things, yeah. it's just going to get publicised in the press and things like that. So this party being put over for the you know next couple of weeks is probably better because it keeps them focused on a tight schedule, a busy schedule like you've been saying, and they don't get in trouble. It may keep Big Sam more focused too. Yeah, true. <laughs> you, never, you never know, you know, you see the videos of him dancing in the club, you never know. <laughs> uh, that's great. Um, so, so when I heard this story, I was, at first I was kind of like, I don't care. You know mm. what I mean? Like, is this newsworthy? Mm. This, we're putting this in a paper, you know, we're putting this online. But then I thought about it, I'm like, this actually does tell me a little bit more about what Sam is doing. Also, man is serious. He's not come Mine in here. <laughs> he's not come in here to to just half-ass his way through a job because he doesn't necessarily. Because it was clear that we only sort of wanted him, right? Yeah, I think it's great that he's he's sort of taking this opportunity. He awesome. wants to. What's up? I just said it's awesome. I'm backing you up. That's all. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's um, I think it's great that if I I think he's sort of doing it for his own credibility in the sense that he doesn't want to be the guy who saves small clubs. He wants to be the one that takes yep. big clubs higher. So he's taking it seriously, this whole thing with parties and all that, like you can say. That, that may be one kind of indication of trying to change his reputation, but, um, yeah, you know, like like Jerry mentioned the, earlier, um, the the morale seems high as well. I mean, you only have mm -hmm. to see the scenes after, after we beat Newcastle. I mean, every single player went, went over and saluted the travelling fans. Um, Gilfie Sigurdsson as well, getting interviews after the game, said that there's a good atmosphere in the, in the change rooms, around the training grounds, you know, it's, so we, really that's all you can ask for, you know, as long as the morale's high and, you know, if they can, if they can play through that, you know, play football through the period. And they, I reckon it's because he's English. They get better. It, you know, it's great. Mm. Do you reckon it is because he's English? Like, he, he speaks... Clearly, not saying that Coleman didn't, but because he's English, a lot more people have got no, a bit more respect for him. But. Methods, yeah, I think it's his methods, definitely. Yeah, I think yeah. He, you know when you when you watch when you watch when you watch Everton's when you watch Cumin's Everton, then when you watch Allardyce's Everton, there's just so many differences. That, you know, there, there are so many differences. Players, you know, like we've said plenty of times, they're, they're a lot more regimented, and then. They seem to be, they, every single player on that pitch knows what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Knows what their role is. They and play also, with a passion as well. I would also say that Sam has something to prove. You know what I mean? Like he's got a chip on his shoulder, and sometimes that's an awesome thing. Sometimes that's amazingly great. He, he's always been that guy. He's always been that type of person, I think. And I, I, probably why he's, he's had so many high level jobs. Yeah. That he's always kind of had that chip on his shoulder. He, he's always tried to prove his worth. Yeah, he's been one of the things Edward mentioned is, is because he's English, and I thought, you know what? He's been around the English game longer. He's been around the English game for a long time. He's managed many different clubs, been in every type of situation you can possibly imagine. He's learned from that because he's because he's pragmatic, you know. So, uh, I mean, there is a there there is a possibility that this him as a managerial appointment could stick. I never would have thought I said that, but, uh, but yeah, there's a possibility. Yeah. It's weird. It's weird. It's Very weird. It's January's massive, I think. Then, so then, true. Then, the January is going to be the deciding fact whether or not I think he should uh, see out his contract. Hey, don't if he be buys Benteke? <laughs> we need to. Yeah. Don't be surprised though, Max, if he buys Walsh type signings, not really flair players, but players that can be plugged in and do individual jobs. That mm. in more of a money ball type of a situation, you know, because mm. yeah. uh, that, that don't be surprised if, if, we're, if we're wanting some kind of flashy signing, but he gets somebody who's the unflashiest possible, in, in, but he wants to do a job with them, you know, that might be I annoying watching, to see, but oh, yeah. it might work. I was watching your transfer video a couple of weeks ago as well. Um, worth checking out. Um, <laughs> sort of going, I think we'll go. I'm sort of directing it a little bit towards that. Now we've got a couple of games under Allardyce. What areas would you want to go for? Yeah, I still, I still, I still think that this number nine, 
he stood. I know. Uh, that's not an against Calvert Lewin. Um, but I do, I do think Calvert Lewin can be a useful player for the team. I think he's got a few. I mean, God, he's just signed a new contract. He's going to be a very useful player in the future. We just need a clinical forward that will just take all the half chances that comes his way. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, we had a bit Lukaku. I mean, he, he did. You know, granted, he did. If you, you only had to watch him, you know, he, he did miss a lot. But, you know, the, Any the, chances he took, he did half, make it. There, was, there were half chances that he was taking. You know, the, the, he was the type of player he could take, create a goal out of nothing, really, some, at times. I mean, I, I just feel like we need to just up our efficiency in front of goal. Yeah. And once we mm. do that, I think we'll just continue to be on the up. Uh, the great thing, I think, about what Sam has done it is that we have players that can do a job as starters now. Now we just need to look at our squad and uh, and figure out where where do we need depth, left back, mm. maybe center back, depending on Funes Mori and what's going on there, um, and and up front, that's those are places where we need depth. Sam has mentioned one or two players <coughs> we'd be buying, guys, just throwing it out there. Aubameyang. All right. All right. I think we've covered Big Sam steals Christmas. Fought long enough. If you're digging the videos, please subscribe. All right, we'd appreciate it. Uh, comment, uh, get, leave likes. You know, these are things that we're creating a community here, guys. All right, it's a good thing. Uh, check the out TVs. Max. <laughs> check out Max's uh, pieces on the Toffee Blues website. Check out Edward's uh, YouTube channel, Jam E James. Details are below. Uh, yeah, that's it. We're gonna go make another video. Bye. Adios.